Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian and today I'm taking you guys with me on a day in the life type of thing because you guys have been asking for it a lot and I know you guys also wanted to see some vlogs. Now, let's be honest, this is a visual representation of my quarantine. Like, I just, I'm still in bed right now. I woke up at like 12, 12 something and I chilled in bed until like 1.30. Then I got up, I made a sandwich, I had breakfast, or lunch, I guess, and now I'm back in bed. So, it's 3 p.m. right now, I have some stuff to do today, everything is in the house, like, I'm not leaving my house today, but, um, yeah, I need to unpack a box, because yesterday I went to my apartment and I had to pack all of my stuff, because I'm moving back home, so I think... I'm not sure if that vlog will be up before this one, but either way, you'll see it. Um, so I packed everything with Miku and I brought like two, three boxes with me and the rest I'm gonna pick up with my dad in like a big fan. So yeah, I need to unpack. I also need to wash my hair. That's <laughs> definitely, I need to wash my hair because it's so much build up right now. And I need to put on some makeup, get myself together because I need to create some content for a really exciting collaboration. So this is my first collaboration with a big brand that is not hair hair related. <laughs> I'm really excited because I actually buy stuff from them. Um, it's a collaboration with Look Fantastic. Uh, I will probably include it in this video as well. So I basically have a discount code for my followers for their royal beauty box but I will explain everything later and basically this first collaboration depending on how it goes is gonna determine whether they want to have any future collaborations with me so I hope that everyone really likes this content that I'm gonna post on Instagram and stuff and that a lot of people use my discount code so that they want future collaborations with me <laughs> But yeah, you will see that stuff later in the vlog. Right now, I just need to wash my hair and wash my face. <laughs> like, I'm looking really crusty right now. So yeah, I just wanted to have a little intro. And also, I just wanted to show you the reality of my quarantine. Like, I was like, let me just start vlogging after I've showered. But then I was like, it's not real. Like, let me just be real with my followers, you know? <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go into the shower now and I'm probably gonna put a hair mask in my hair while I unpack the box. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any like tips for being productive during this quarantine, leave them in the comments down below because I'm so lost. I'm just lost. have a hair mask in my hair. I use the um, Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Memfura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. And I'm gonna leave it in for about 30 minutes. Honestly, I never really time this stuff. I just do a task and when the task is over, I wash my hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on a face mask as well because my skin is really thriving, but I'm starting to break out on this side and it's a little weird I'm still grateful for the way my skin has been behaving also ignore the lighting and the angle I wash my face with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost gel cleanser I started using this since November or something like that uh, and I love it I really like it I realized that I need to stop using those really harsh cleansers like this one for example. This one is for um, like with salicylic acid and it's like a very strong cleanser like it actually burns when you use it. But I realized that all of this was just drying out my skin way too much. So I wanted more of a gentle cleanser. I think I've been using this since December because first I used the Kiehl's cleanser in November. 
Anyways, I washed my face with that cleanser and now I'm going to use two face masks because I've been putting a face mask on this, this breakout for almost, no, two times this week. Um, I don't put it all over my face, just on my forehead, basically my T-zone. Um, so now I'm going to put this one, these are both by Peter, Peter Thomas Roth, I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is the purifying black mask, I'm going to put that on my forehead. And this is the Extreme Detox Hydrator Mask. And I'm going to put that on the rest of my face. Because my cheeks tend to get very dry. So yeah. That's what we're doing. And the breakout is like right on my eyebrow and above it. And I hate it when I have pimples on my eyebrows. It's so painful. Then I'm going to use this um, hydrating mask. The Cucumber Gel Mask. And... It's actually uh, recommended to put this in the fridge beforehand. I just didn't do that. I use about this much. This is really like a gel. Like this is more like a thick jelly consistency. And this is just like, it almost feels like a moisturizing gel. And I'm gonna let this mask sit for about 10 minutes. And by the time this mask is finished, my hair mask has also been in there for like 30 minutes. So, 10 minutes? 10 minutes has passed. I'm going to take off this face mask and rinse out the hair mask as well. And then, quickly going to do my skincare, hair care. I'm going to just put in a leave-in, quench on Jackie's leave-in in my hair. And I'll show some of my skincare products that I'm using as well. First things first, toner. I'm using the Pixi Retinal Tonic. I've been kind of liking this actually. It's important to use toner because this is why. You see this? I used this thing to clean my face with cleanser. I put on a face mask and I rinsed it off with um, like a little cloth. A toner is very important because I don't know if this is gunk for my pores or um, it can also just be, what's it called, like the fabric from your towel. So I always like to use a toner to really get everything off my face. Next I'm going to use my niacinamide and zinc from The Ordinary. The only thing I don't like about this niacinamide is that it really peels up, even when it's dry. Next thing I use the caffeine solution for under my eyes. I actually stopped using this and now I'm using it again. To be honest, I don't know if it really makes a huge difference, but I kind of like having something for my under eyes in my routine, so. Next, I'm gonna use my Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, Moisturizer. Most of these products I've used in my last skincare routine video. It's just I changed uh, the cleanser, I believe. I don't think I was using this cleanser back then. So if I would leave the house, I would wear SPF right now, but I'm not. So I'm just going to wear a little bit of sweet almond oil. So I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to go on Instagram live at the same time. And then I'm going to take some pictures and maybe record a small video for my Instagram to promote the um, beauty box by Look Fantastic. I'll tell you guys about the box in a few minutes in this vlog as well. But for now, let me just get ready to do my makeup and... Yeah, going live. Say hi to my vlog, everyone. I'm going live on Instagram right now. I'm getting ready and then I'm gonna shoot some content for the collaboration with Look Fantastic. I'm almost done with my makeup. I'm just gonna do a liner. I tried to go for like a yellow eyeshadow, but it didn't turn out that great. So, you know, one thing I learned is that if you put liner on, everything will look better. So that's what I'm about to do. I just ended my IG live because it was dying down a little. I hate it when my eyeliner is different. Ugh. Let me do my lashes and finish off my makeup and then I'll be right back with you guys. I look crazy right now. I need to figure this out. I just don't get it. Like one day the shrinkage is all right and now it's like super short. My hair is doing the most right now. It's defined at the bottom, but frizzy on top, and I'm just not liking it. I really want to chop off all my hair. My mom's friend is coming to pick up something, and then I'm going to film 
a short IG TV for uh, look fantastic and then we're done I th guess oh I need to unpack a box as well then I'm gonna make dinner so yeah okay um, I just filmed the little IG TV so let me show you guys what is in the box this is the box that it came in I already unpacked it of course so basically this box is worth 230 euros and look fantastic is selling it for 65 and with my personal discount code Lillian BB you can get this box for 50 euros so for 50 euros you're getting full-size products six full-size products and um, basically they're all at least 20 euros so you're really getting your money worth for me the most exciting things were the skincare products actually this is the Foreo this Foreo is um, a skin cleansing tool and it's 40 euros so for 10 euros extra you're basically getting all of these products um, another thing is the doctor's formula brighten up ampules or ampules I don't even know how you say it this is 70 euros so you're basically getting this like for free um, these are ampules. It's like a serum kind of with seven ampules. It's like a kit or a treatment I guess and that's supposed to help for uh, hyperpigmentation And then you get this rhodial vitamin C brightening cleanser. This is something I'm also very excited about It also has glycolic and lactic acid. So I'm very excited to try this out actually. It's 45 euros and then you have this deep sleep pillow spray by this works um, this is basically to help you fall asleep faster. Um, my sleeping schedule has been messed up since Corona. So this is definitely useful. This thing is 23 euros. Then you get a shower gel which has bergamot. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. And jasmine is a soap free body cleanser. And then you get this anti frizz rescue milk which has 99% natural ingredients. And no perfume, no alcohol and no silicones. So I'm also excited to try this out on my hair actually. My hair has been quite frizzy these days. Um, and if not on my hair, it will work on my wigs for sure. And this thing is 30 euros. So you get, basically you get your money worth for this box. So make sure to use my discount code LillianBB to support your girl. Because if this collaboration goes well, then we might get any future collaborations. You never know. I just wanted to show you guys this and you've probably already seen it on my instagram by the time that i post this vlog okay i just changed into a hoodie because i'm gonna go to the supermarket quickly um i want to put some potatoes in the air fryer but i can't just have potatoes for dinner so i'm probably gonna get some veggies or like a veggie burger maybe and have like a side salad or something i don't know maybe like garlic bread Ooh, i might have some garlic bread yeah, so I'm not gonna take my camera because this whole lockdown situation, like, I'm, I just can't be bothered to film in a supermarket. So let me do that and then I will be right back. I just came back from the store. I always go for one thing and come back with like loads of things. Anyways, um, this is gonna be my dinner. Zucchini. Paprika, broccoli, um, a veggie burger, some potatoes, and probably this garlic bread as well. I also bought this because I've been wanting to try plantain for forever. And I love it. I eat it outside, but I've never tried it at home, so I'm going to try it. Uh, so this is not a banana. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this I'm going to put all the veggies together with the potatoes in the air fryer. And this can go in the air fryer as well. So this is really going to be an easy meal. Uh, my mom's about to come home. So probably not going to vlog that much. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Ooh, where's the lighting? I hope you guys are enjoying this day in the life of type of vlog.
right now it's almost midnight but um yeah i had dinner i was just facetiming with my sister and also yeah i was trying to clear out this drawer and then we found pictures like baby pictures and stuff so me and my mom were just going through all of that and then all of a sudden it was midnight so i'm super tired i need to take off this makeup and tie up my hair oh. This is why I hate wearing makeup. I don't like taking it off. It just takes too long. But yeah, I'm probably gonna edit that IGTV for the look fantastic so that I can post it tomorrow because I've had it for a couple days now and I don't wanna wait too long. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna edit that IGTV and go to sleep because it's already midnight. Like I shouldn't even be editing that, but I know it's not gonna take too long if my laptop desi decides to work with me. I think I'm gonna sell this MacBook Air and get a MacBook Pro because MacBook Air, it just can't, like it can't handle anything like when it comes to editing videos. Like other than editing, it works perfect because I've only had it for two years. And then I tried the free trial of Final Cut Pro and that was even worse. Like I couldn't even move the mouse or anything. But yeah, leave a comment down below if you like this type of day in the life whatever you want to call it this oh. this feeling i cannot describe it store your lashes properly because you want to reuse them better remove my makeup using some micellar water today oh. i mean Today was kind of productive because I did what I had to do, but I'm just missing that routine, like planning your day around classes and stuff. Like even though I only had class twice a week, did I have class two or three times a week? I don't know. Anyways, it still gave me that routine. So I had class and then I had work next to it. So I just had things to do. I had appointments like physio. All of that stuff. I'm I'm someone like I like routines. Routines is what keeps me going. And right now the only type of routine that I have is my deadlines for uni every week and my personal deadline for myself to upload every Sunday. Other than that, I don't care what I do. I don't care about working out. I don't care about going for a walk, reading a book, all of that stuff like I'm just like I just want to lay in bed all day and on the other hand I'm also like you know what I, I like that we kind of have this rest but I kind of don't like I had a lot of pressure on me for studying I had three three no I had two exams and a couple deadlines and now I'm writing my thesis during this pandemic and it's just it's a lot so I can't even enjoy this lockdown to the fullest. Like, I mean, I don't even know if you can actually enjoy a lockdown, but I mean, I don't feel like I can make the most out of it. Cause I am such a homebody. Like I love being at home, I love being by myself. So that's also a thing like, uh, I need to get used to living with my mom again. You know, living with one of your parents and living with a roommate is different because sharing a house with someone that you don't know like a roommate or something is like you don't care about each other you don't do stuff together you don't have to tell each other where you're going all of that stuff when it's your parents of course you have to do all of that so i just need to get used to it it's a bit different but it's been almost three years since i've moved out so just something i need to get used to again i put my hair in a pineapple my makeup is off I'm all oiled up. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tired. I don't think I have the energy to edit the IGTV right now. I have class at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Right now it's 12.25, almost 12.30. So I should probably go to sleep. I hope, I pray to God that I can sleep because I don't, like, I don't get tired until at least 3 a.m. So... I really hope that I can sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
a lot of people requested vlogs or day in the life or productive morning routine in quarantine but this is reality this is what my most productive days look like during quarantine because i'm just constantly tired no motivation unproductive not inspired like i was supposed to film a quarantine makeover today where i would do my hair my makeup my outfit and all of that stuff but i just didn't feel like it and i know i still did my hair and makeup but i i would i just wasn't feeling that whole thing so then i went on instagram and someone said my cousin said do a day in the life and i was like first it was like my day is not even interesting like i'm not doing anything during these during this lockdown i thought maybe this would be fun <laughs> I hope, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback, if there's any specific videos that you guys want to see, leave them down below in the comments. And yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe, join the family. If you want to see more of my daily life like today, you can follow me on Instagram. I also go live quite often since this quarantine. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.